Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Sean Stackhouse Reacts. Today, we're going to be talking about how Hollywood is moving into so much green screen work that um, it's almost taking away from the essential fundamentals of filmmaking, um, I guess some would say. Um, we're going to be comparing the uh, scene from Endgame where um, Robert Downey Jr. says, I am Iron Man. So we're going to see the in screen, or I'm sorry, the green screen version without the effects, and then we're going to see the scene that everybody remembers from in game. And I mean, there is nothing there on the green screen except for Robert Downey Jr. in kind of like an upper bodysuit of Iron Man, um, and you know maybe some capture stuff on 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 the rest of him, but. Uh, Everything else is CGI'd. I mean, all the surroundings. I mean, there's there's nothing practical effect-wise there. So let's take a look. So here you can see him on his knees like he uh, is in the movie. Um, but it's just green screen and nothing else. So let's take a look. Hi. All right, let's watch that again. I am. All right, so I'm not sure if this is the, the actual take, um, but it is one of the takes, uh, obviously, because in the movie he says, and I am Iron Man, so maybe... This was just cut before he said and, but still it doesn't take away from the fact that it's all green screen. So let's take a look at the actual scene here. You see, look at that. You can tell already. So, yeah, I mean, there, there you have it. I mean, it is uh, a big CGI fest, truthfully. And um, as much as I love Marvel, I, I truly do, it is just something that is plaguing the industry. I mean, like, take, take the Transformers um, franchise, for example, with the exception of Bumblebee, because I thought Bumblebee was really good, and, and even the first Transformers. Um, it's not going to hold up in comparison to the animated movie from the 80s because it's just like CGI, ah, gratuitous CGI, you know? I mean, it's just CGI overload. And, and I, I'm, I'm, it's awesome that, that movies ha and technology have gotten to the point where we can actually realize um, the superheroes and, you know, creations fully on screen uh the way that they should be but i mean the, i think we're relying too much on cgi to be completely honest with you you know there could have been there could have been at least practical effects you know on on the ground surrounding him or or what have you you know i mean take star wars for example um the original star wars was all practical effects pretty much and i mean yes and some might say that it is kind of, you know, cheesy and it doesn't hold up well today. And that's primarily why George Lucas went back and did the special editions. But majority of the um, the original trilogy fan base like the original cuts instead of the special editions. Even though the CGI did clean up a lot of the, uh, the lines and the mess and what have you and the shadowing. Um, it's just the, I guess, the edition of the additional scenes that he Lucas put in and the overall change in tonality of the, the way it looked. So in a perfect world, Marvel and other studios would balance CGI and practical effects more evenly in the future. Um, I, I think that is best for all, but uh, let me know what you think down below guys. Uh, if you like this video, remember to hit that, um, that thumbs up, 
Remember to hit that bell so you know uh, when we have new content. And if you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe for more awesome content in the future. And um, until next time, guys, you have a fantastic Sunday, and I will talk to you soon. Hey, guys, thanks for checking us out. Be sure to subscribe to both channels, and make sure you check out our friends in the Fandom Menace. You can check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and you can also send us an email at sean at seanstackhousereacts.com and chrisknight at therealreview3000.com.